Hi everyone, welcome to Royal Logos. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we will design a logo for a company that is providing staffing services. So let's continue with the short brief that we received from the client. First of all, we have the logo name, which is LV Aerium. And the slogan is Staffing. About the services, the client says that we are providing staffing services to help businesses grow more smoothly and efficiently. LV Aerium is not just a random name, but there is also an idea behind this one. And the client says that we choose the business name LV Aerium as it stands for Beehive. Within the hive, each bee has a specific job with the full understanding of the role. Just like the beehive, we are also providing the individuals and the perfect teams to accomplish the required job. And for the color preference, the client chose the gradient colors with reddish pink and orange shades. And now, let's continue with the short mind mapping process. In this process, we will write down all the relative keywords. There is no hard and fast rule for this process. You can simply write down the keywords that are coming to your mind at the specific time. And you can also get some help from the platforms like Thesaurus or Reverse Dictionary. So let's continue with our mind mapping process. My major focus is on the points like initial letter A, honeybee and hexagon. As initial letter A represents the brand name and the honeybee represents an individual with a specific job and a complete understanding of the role and the hexagonal design resembles the beehive. So by keeping these points in the mind, let's continue with the sketching process. This one is my favorite sketch and this one is the second favorite. You can also share your thoughts about your favorite sketch in the comments section. And now let's continue with the design process of this sketch in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, go to file and select new. Then select the units to pixels and select the width to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. First of all, select the polygon tool left click on the page select the number of sides to 6 and select the radius to 185 we doesn't need the fill color so we will cancel it by clicking on this icon and apply the stroke color like this blue color then apply the stroke width to 10 points then select the rotation tool select the value of angle to 90 degrees select ok again select the polygon tool left click Select the number of sides to 6 and this time select the value of radius to 75. Again select the rotation tool and select the angle to 90 degrees. Select the selection tool and select this hexagon. Now we want to make two more copies of this hexagon. So hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Again hold down the alternate key and drag it 
at this position. Now to apply the equal distribution, simply select all of these hexagons, go to windows and select align. And click on this icon which says vertical distribute center. Now we want to remove the unwanted parts. Simply press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Then select the shape builder tool and to delete the unwanted parts, simply hold down the alternate key and left click. Now reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Select the selection tool, drag it at this position, then drag this hexagon at the top of this one. This time select the line tool, left click, select the value of angle to 0 and for the length to 265. Then drag this line at the intersection point of these hexagons. Select the ellipse tool. Left click, simply lock the dimensions for the width and the height and select the value of width to 245. Then place the center of this circle at the right corner of this line. Now we doesn't need this line, so simply select it and press delete. Then press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Select the direct selection tool, left click on the circle, select this left node and drag it towards the intersection point of the hexagons. And now to freely play with these handles, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Also for this one, and to make the duplicate copy of this shape, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it. Then select the reflect tool, select the vertical axis and select OK. Then drag this shape at the intersection point of these hexagons. You can see irregularity at these positions. To remove this, simply hold down the shift key, select this shape, also this one. Then go to edit and select cut. Then select the direct selection tool, click once at this hexagon, simply select this anchor point and press delete. Also for this hexagon, select this anchor point and press delete. Then go to edit and select paste in place. And you can see that irregularity is gone. Now reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Then select the pen tool and simply make a shape like this. Complete the shape by pressing enter. Again click at this path, then at this position and drag the handles. And to make the duplicate copy of this shape, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Then select the reflect tool and select vertical axis. And then drag it at this position. Simply select all of these parts, go to stroke panel and select the value of stroke width to 30 points. Then click once at the stroke and select this round caps. And also select round join. Then simply deselect the shape, select only this part and select the value of stroke width to 15 points. Now we will convert these corners into the rounded shapes. Simply select the direct selection tool, click once at this shape, select this node, simply drag this circular icon. Also for this one, like this. Now select all of these shapes, go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Then go to windows, select pathfinder and select unite. And we are almost done with our logo design and it's time to apply the color gradients. Simply select the gradient tool, click on this bar and select the value of angle to 90 degrees. Double click at the left slider, click on this menu and select RGB. Then select the hex code to E5-1C-5B. Then double click at this slider, again select the RGB colors and this time select the value of code to FC-8A-3B and press enter. Select the selection tool, right click and select ungroup. Then deselect the shapes, select only this one, then select the eyedropper tool and click once like this. Now again select both of these shapes, right click and select group. 
Now simply reduce the size of this icon. And now it's time to write the name of the logo. Select the type tool, left click. Simply click at this character and increase the size of the text to 100 points. And write the name of the logo, which is Alvearium. And for the font, I will prefer Montserrat Regular. To increase the spacing between the alphabets, again select the character and increase the spacing from 0 to 80 points. Now we will simply align and adjust the ratios between the icon and the text. Now we will write the slogan of the logo, which is stuffing. So simply duplicate the text by holding the alternate key and dragging it like this. Select the type tool and change the text to stuffing. And now to resize the text, select the selection tool and reduce the size. Then change the weight of the text to light. Click on the character and increase the spacing between the alphabets to 350 points. Then select all of these parts, go to align, select align to artboard and select horizontal align center. Now if you want to edit or play with your text, then simply select it, go to type and select create outlines. Press Z on the keyboard, zoom in this area. Right click on these alphabets and select ungroup. Then only select this letter E. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner. Select the selection tool and drag this rectangle like this. Then select both of these parts. Select shape builder tool, hold down the alternate key and simply delete the unwanted parts. Select the direct selection tool, right click and select release compound path. Then simply select this bar and you can apply a different color as per your choice. Like I want to apply a color with the hex code E51C5B. Now simply reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Now we want to check the visibility of our logo in the colored and dark backgrounds. I think that the logo is visible both for the colored and dark backgrounds. Beside this logo design, I also experimented with the other sketches. And these two are my favorite ones because they have a better background story. This design is the combination of initial letter A, hexagonal designs that represents the hive and a honeybee. And this design is the combination of hexagonal distribution infinity symbol and an arrow design. Hexagonal distribution represents the hive, which ultimately emphasizes on the teamwork. And infinity symbol represents the diversity of staffing services and also the target market. And finally, the arrow design represents the rise and growth of the business with the help of proper staffing services. The second design is my personal favorite. You can also share your thoughts about your favorite design in the comment section. And this is for today's logo design process. If you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.